Hey guys, this is Brandon from Subgenius, S-U-B hyphen G-E-N-I dot U-S. That is my website. This tutorial will be on the website in text form. I just got a text, actually. Um, as well as, in this video, I will show you how to sign a JAR file for use in a Java applet. Okay, so first of all, I have this calculator dot JAR file. It's a runnable JAR of a calculator I made in Java. It's not actually an applet, but it'll work just the same. I can sign it even though it's not an applet. Okay, so first of all, you want to make a new folder on your desktop. That way you can put all of the JAR files you want to sign in this folder, and then it'll be way easier in the command prompt. So I'm going to name mine applet. After that, just put your JAR files in the folder, and then go to the start orb, type in CMD to open a command prompt, hit enter. Now you want to change the directory to the folder that you made. So CD desktop slash applet. Now we're in the applet folder. We need to make a key tool, a key store actually, using key tool so that we can sign our jar files with it. So you want to type key tool hyphen gen key hyphen key store and then you want to name you, you can make this anything you want but for this tutorial I'm just going to name it my key store and then you have to make an alias so hyphen alias and then whatever alias you want to use I'm just going to make mine Brandon hit enter alright now you have to choose a password for your key store so for this tutorial I'm just going to name it password enter it again now there's a bunch of inform not a bunch of information but some information that they asked for so I'm just gonna enter some stuff in here Okay, once you get through all of that, you now have a key store that you can use to sign your JAR files. So what you want to do next is you want to use that key store that you just made to sign all the JAR files that you need to sign in your applet. So what we need to type now is JAR signer hyphen key store. Now you want to type the name of your key store. So my key store. Now you need to type the file name of the jar that you want to sign. So mine is called calculator.jar and now you have to put in your alias that you created for the key store. Now enter your password and now your jar file is signed. If you have to do more than one jar file then just repeat that last step as many times as you need. Thank you for watching this tutorial and remember to subscribe to my channel and also check out my website Subgenius. Thank you.